When we last left you in June, a couple of events rocked the Colorado Eagles world. First on May 22nd, an F4 tornado hit the town of Windsor. Then just nine days later, Les Borsheim was injured in a serious motorcycle accident. Like the tornado, the community has rallied around Les Borsheim. More on that story, here's Kevin McGlue. Seeing a hockey player on the links is not all that uncommon during the summer months. But as the Colorado Eagles hit the course last September, it was with a unique purpose, to come to the aid of a fallen teammate. On June 1st of this year, Eagles defenseman Les Borsheim was seriously injured in a motorcycle accident east of Greeley. He was airlifted to North Colorado Medical Center where he would undergo spinal fusion surgery in the hours following the crash. To make matters worse, Borsheim's insurance had expired just eight days prior. After spending months in a bed at three different hospitals, Borsheim and his doctors knew that the best place to continue his recovery was at the world-renowned Craig Rehabilitation Hospital in Denver. The only problem was finding a way to pay for that treatment. Interstate Senator and Eagle season ticket holder, Steve Johnson. I uh, got in contact with the State Department of Healthcare Policy and Financing and uh, uh, we had some problems with Medicaid qualifications with less being a Canadian citizen and all of that complicated it quite a bit. So uh, we found a, a program that called Cover Colorado for individuals that are denied health insurance. But everybody I talked to at the state level was, you know, I think just real eager to help. And that really made me feel good. With that act of kindness, Les was admitted to Craig Hospital, where he still continues his recovery as he fights to regain movement in his extremities. Opening the door to Craig Hospital would prove to be one of many acts of generosity, as teammates and the community rallied to give number 33 whatever help they could. Well, it's a great cause when we heard about it. There was a handful of us that uh, we jumped at the opportunity, you know, and it could be uh, anybody we know personally and that, but at the same time, we just had to uh, come out here and uh, lend our support. That love even spread across the globe as former teammate and current Oklahoma City Blazer, Tyler Fleck, would launch TeamBorsheim.com in the days following the accident. Sorry, buddy. It's too much water. The site is dedicated to raising funds for Les's recovery and to act as a sounding board to let hockey fans across the world share their well wishes and support for the Ontario native. When the accident happened, it was just like kind of sent a shock through everyone. And, you know, it's, when something like that happens to your friend and you got resources to, to help out in one way or another, you have to do it. Knowing that the road to recovery will be long and challenging, the Colorado Eagles and Team Borsheim organized the Team Borsheim Golf Tournament with a goal to raise tens of thousands of dollars to aid in the effort. So on September 5th, teammates, fans, and celebrities from all walks of life came out to Pelican Lakes Country Club in Windsor to join in the cause. Uh, you know, the way people handle themselves here, all connected with the team, and such an unfortunate accident that happened, and, and to, to be able to, to help out anybody in that sort of situation is, is just fantastic, and I am more than happy to have been a part of it. The turnout and support spoke volumes to Les's parents. Meeting all these people is amazing that they support them that much and what the Eagles do and what hockey does, like the guys from the Avalanche, the guys from Oak City, you know, it's hard. Through the tournament and the silent auction, more than $30,000 was raised that day for a man that continues his fight with an entire community backing him up. You know, I think everybody here saw what Les did for Northern Colorado. He put his heart and soul into every minute he spent on the ice. And, you know, even though we don't get a drip sweat and be out here doing what he did for us physically, uh, in our hearts, Les is there. And if we can raise a bunch of money, that young man's going to need it. Well, he's in our prayers. He's a good man, and hopefully he keeps battling. Just want to know as a teammate and friend that we love. So as the road to recovery continues, fans and teammates alike know that this enduring champion will continue to prove what real toughness is all about. For the Colorado Eagles NOCO Hockey Show, I'm Kevin McGlue.